Welcome back to redheart.com as well as the crochet crowd. I'm your host Mikey and in today's tutorial we're going to explore this stitch here and this is called the double crochet and slip stitch square. This actually reminds me of fish scales the way that it's worked out and this is one that I never really thought was possible either and I think this is really cool. However, this one I think crocheters are going to have the most trouble with of all of the squares in the sense that if your tension is way too tight, you're going to be in trouble. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to try to demystify some of the mysteries in this particular square, make it easier for you as well as this is a really neat idea. I think I really like this idea. It makes everything nice and compact. In the instructions, it calls, calls for a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook today and um, we can use that but in this sample that I you see on screen I used a 5 millimeter or a size I and then in today I'm using a size 6 or a size J just to make it spread out more for you to easier uh, to learn easier. You should know that you can change any one of the, of the patterns that you see in this uh, particular afghan to be a different yarn or a different size hook because of the stitch working is all working together and it complements the hook you know you can really do a lot of great things with this and that's one of the reasons why I chose this for stitchcation. So without further ado, let's get started on the double crochet and slip stitch square by redheart.com. Let's begin and we're just going to create a slip knot just like so and just very easily slip in your hook and we need to start off with a chain count of 36 for the squares that we're doing for stitchcation. So this never counts as one, so one, two, three, four and five and please go all the way to 36 and when we come back I'll show you what to do next. I now have 36 chains on and what I need to do now is that I need to work back in the chain and go backwards. So I need to work along the chain. So we have to go second crochet uh, hook. Oh my god. So here we have it. We have the 36 chains done and now I need to work in single crochet across the chain. We have to start at the second uh, crochet uh, at the second chain from the hook. So we count one and two and I need you to turn over that chain so that you're getting the back loop only. Just like so and single crochet along. Once you do the first one the chain completely turns over and then each one of these they look like spines of a back or, or a sea serpent. They're all sticking up and you just have to operate within those in order to make it work. So just single crochet into each one of those going all the way back to the beginning. So I've come all the way across and now we're going to turn and this is where it's going to get really interesting. <laughs> so um, I'm kind of laughing but I shouldn't be. So what we're going to happen is that we're going to uh, chain one first and then we're going to slip stitch into the same chain or into the same one. So we pull through and through. When you slip stitch it's a natural thing to be really tight but you need to operate that coming in the future. So if you're too tight now you're going to be in trouble later. So now you're going to double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, so you're going to get the height with that one. And then the next stitch you're going to slip stitch. So coming into the next one, pull through and through. Notice how loose I'm being. Uh, we had an email from a, a fan uh, earlier this week. She was working on a different project where she was requiring to um, do this. So you just have to slip stitch, double crochet, slip stitch, double crochet. So anyway, she was uh, complaining that she doesn't know how you can actually physically um, um, work into the slip stitches and the whole thing is that she has to be a lot looser. So this is a great uh, key concept um, because slip stitching is really important when it comes to crochet and if you can master it and not be so uh, tense about it, it's really going to be your best friend. So continue to do that. Double crochet, slip stitch, double crochet, slip stitch all the way across. So you're just going to come all the way to the other side and you will finish off with a slip stitch. Okay, you started off with one, you were going to finish with one like that. Okay, so let's start, turn our work around and you can see what's happening. So you're kind of having the, the texturing coming out just like so, so you can see the purpose for it. And now this row is really super, super easy. So this is what we're going to do. So we're, one row is going to be this and the next row is going to be chaining a three. So one, two, and three. And we're just going to double crochet ourselves all the way across. So we start off with the first one, okay, and we're just going to do that. And so you're going to uh, double crochet in the double crochet. This is a slip stitch. You see how uh, short it looks? That's the slip stitch. So if you were too tight, you wouldn't be able to get to it. You will notice that when you do slip stitching, it kind of turns backwards uh, away from you. So you might need to turn your project more towards you 
in order to access all of the stitches like so. So you can see if I was too tight I would be really struggling right now. I'd be like probably sweating buckets behind the camera uh, but I'm not. You know I knew that um, it's you need to operate like that and if you're subconsciously aware that you need to be a little bit looser when it comes to that you can go a lot further. So let me double crochet myself across and then we'll come back and review this slip stitch and double crochet one more time. So I'm just coming all the way to the other side making sure I get right to the last one and it will be the slip stitch and then we turn our work. So you can see it's got a bit of texture. It's not as severe as the popcorn or the other ones that we have been doing but it's still quite fabulous and now we're going to repeat what we already know. So we're going to start in chain one and then we're going to slip stitch into the same one. So just so you're aware you cannot just slip, slip stitch right away because you've just finished off of that stitch. So that chaining one helps it lock into position. You are going to then double crochet your next one and then slip stitch. So this is as hard as it gets. This one is actually quite fabulous. It looks amazing done in the right yarn and I think that you could have a lot of fun with this. If you got your tension right this one should be a piece of cake. So thank you so much everybody for joining me today on behalf of RedHeart.com as well as the Crochet Crowd. We'll see you next time for more free ideas, patterns and anything crochet related. Until then we'll see you. Bye-bye. <laughs>